Well, good morning. Welcome to Debbie's Back Porch and Happy New Year. This is New Year's Day. And every year for 30 years, I've had some variation of the same foods on New Year's Day. Collard greens, peas, hog jowl, and cornbread. And this year, I made Hoppin' John out of the peas. And I thought that I would share that with you. It's really good, and it's a really great way to dress up black-eyed peas. Here are the ingredients. Please pause and write them down. And hey, while you're paused, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. And if you hit the little bell at the top right of the screen, you'll get a notice when I post new videos about twice a week. So this is hog jowl. Uh, not pretty, but so tasty. It tastes like bacon. It's cured like bacon. It's the cheek of a hog. It's got a nice lean streak through most of it. And we'll slice that thin and fry it. Uh, and these big chunks that are mostly fat will be used as seasoning. I took it out of the package and I washed it off. It has a little salt on it sometimes. Uh, and I'll show you what we're going to do with that. This is a 12 ounce package of dried black eyed peas that I covered in water and soaked overnight. You can use fresh peas if you have them. You want about four or five cups. And the measurements here are not exact. If you want to cook a bigger pot of peas, that's fine. It'll all work fine. So back to the hog jowl. I'm going to sort of sort this out in my mind. The big pieces with nice lean streaks, I'm going to slice and fry. Uh, and the bigger, fatter pieces, I'm going to cut up pretty small. And we'll render those to get the fat out. And we'll use that fat in our recipe. And... We just leave the little chunks of the fat meat in. They get kind of crispy. Uh, and if you don't like that, you can take them out. Uh, but seasoning peas generally includes some kind of fat meat. But you know, if you wanted to make vegetarian Hoppin' John, you would just use some olive oil for the fat instead. So I'll chop this up kind of small. And you know, in the traditional New Year's dinner, this represents luck and prosperity. The peas represent coins and the greens represent bills. I'm going to meet you now at the stove. This is my five quart cast iron enamel Dutch oven. You need something pretty big and we're going to drop these pieces of fat meat in and I'm going to turn the heat on medium to medium low and we're going to let this start rendering out the fat. Now, a lot of folks uh, put a ham hock in instead of using the hog jowl. In that case, you would put about four tablespoons full of butter in now instead of this fat meat. And you would add the ham hock later. So you see how that's rendering out. We're getting a little crispness on the little pieces of meat. Uh, and that's the fat we're going to use to cook our veggies. This is one large or two medium onions, two carrots, one stick of celery. I've chopped up a little yellow sweet pepper. You can use hot pepper if you like. Lots of people like their Hoppin' John hot, but you know I don't like anything too hot. So we're going to cook this like we would a mirepoix, and that's going to release these flavors. And it's really better to do it early like this than it would be to add these veggies later because the flavor develops a little more if you um, saute them in the fat and we get just lots of yummy flavors. So I'm going to add the salt and pepper and a little bit of garlic powder now. And you do this while you're sauteing the veggies because it helps them release their flavors uh, a little bit qu more quickly. And I'm using red pepper flakes, about a half teaspoonful. You can and half teaspoonful of salt too. You can use black pepper if you'd prefer. And I'm using garlic powder, but you could put a clove, a chopped up clove of fresh garlic if you prefer that. You know, the thing about Hoppin' John is if you ask 10 different cooks for a recipe for Hoppin' John, you'll get 10 different recipes. There are all kinds of variations. It depends on what you have at hand. Um, this is just the basics for you. If if you make it over the years, you'll develop your own recipe. So I've let this simmer about five minutes uh, and st stirred it occasionally. We're just letting everything soften up and wilt and release its flavor. 
and then we're going to add our black eyed peas. Just to note here, you know, if you wanted to do this with white beans or pinto beans, it's still wonderful and it tastes great. It's just not called Hoppin' John. Um, so we're going to stir these around. Because they soaked overnight, they're fairly soft. They're not done. But they won't have to cook all day like you would, say, with pinto beans. So I'm adding six cups of chicken broth instead of water. And if you're going vegetarian, you can use vegetable broth or you can use water. So if you have more peas, you would use a different amount of chicken broth. You want to add enough to cover your peas with about an inch. And we're not going to cook these as long as we would normally cook uh, beans or something. About an hour and a half altogether. Oh, and if you're using ham hock instead of the um, hog jowl, you put it in now. So I brought these up to a simmer. I'm going to cover them uh, and cook them on a low heat for an hour. I'll set my timer. Check them at an hour. And after an hour, this is what we have. Now I'm going to check this for salt. Uh, it may need some more. And it, it's difficult to know this at the beginning because if you used ham or saltier meat, it would need less. Uh, but I'm going to check this for salt. And I do add about another half teaspoonful of salt. And I'm also going to check one of the peas to make sure that it's soft all the way through. Now, I don't cook these till they fall apart. They're still uh, solid individual peas. And I'm going to put the lid back on now and cook it for another 30 minutes. And during that 30 minutes, I'll cook my rice and my cornbread. Uh, and the collard greens have been cooking for about three hours. While everything else is almost ready, I'm going to put on uh, a couple of thick slices of this hog jowl. Tastes like bacon, like thick sliced bacon. It's wonderful. You want to cook it very slowly until it's as crisp as you like. And when this gets done, I'm going to plate up my Hoppin' John and collard greens and cornbread, and I'll be right back. And here we have my traditional New Year's Day dinner. Uh, it's for luck and prosperity and it tastes wonderful. I don't really need all the rest of that. Uh, just this wonderful plate of food. See the peas are nice and separate. You serve it on top of your favorite rice or if you want to serve it as a soup because there's plenty of juice just put a scoop of rice in it and serve it just like that. You don't have to wait till New Year's. Make this any time. When you have a ham hock left over and you want something good to do with it, this is an idea. A way to dress up some inexpensive food and make it wonderful. Thank you for joining us on Debbie's Back Porch. Hope you try this. Hope you like it. And hope to see you again tomorrow.